A nuclear family, elementary family or conjugal family is a family group consisting of two parents and their children one or more. It is in contrast to a single parent family, to the larger extended family, and to a family with more than two parents. Nuclear families typically center on a married couple, the nuclear family may have any number of children. There are differences in definition among observers, some definitions allow only biological children that are full-blood siblings, but others allow for a stepparent and any mix of dependent children including stepchildren and adopted children, as well as the expansion to include same-sex couples. <laughs> Overview Family structures of a married couple and their children were present in Western Europe and New England in the 17th century, influenced by church and theocratic governments. With the emergence of proto-industrialization and early capitalism, the nuclear family became a financially viable social unit. The term nuclear family first appeared in the early 20th century. Alternative definitions have evolved to include family units headed by same-sex parents and perhaps additional adult relatives who take on a cohabiting parental role. In the latter case, it also receives the name of conjugal family. The concept that narrowly defines a nuclear family is central to stability in modern society that has been promoted by familialists who are social conservatives in the United States and has been challenged as historically and sociologically inadequate to describe the complexity of actual family relations. In Freudian theories of identification and their derivatives. Yuri Bronfenbrenner states, "...very little is known about the extent variation in the behavior of fathers and mothers towards sons and daughters, and even less about the possible effects on such differential treatment." Little is known about how parental behavior and identification processes work, and how children interpret sex role learning. In his theory he uses, "...identification." with the father in the sense that the son will follow the sex role provided by his father and then for the father to be able identify the difference of the cross-sex parent for his daughter. Historians Alan McFarlane and Peter Laslett postulated that nuclear families have been a primary arrangement in England since the 13th century. This primary arrangement was different than the normal arrangements in southern Europe, in parts of Asia, and the Middle East where it was common for young adults to remain in or marry into the family home. In England multi-generational households were uncommon because young adults would save enough money to move out, into their own household once they married. Sociologist Bridget Berger argued, "...the young nuclear family had to be flexible and mobile as it searched for opportunity and property. Forced to rely on their own ingenuity, its members also needed to plan for the future and develop bourgeois habits of work and saving." Burge also mentions that this could be one of the reasons why the Industrial Revolution began in England and other Northwest European countries. However, the historicity of the nuclear family in England has been challenged by Cord Estman. As a fertility factor, single nuclear family households generally have a higher number of children than cooperative living arrangements, according to studies from both the Western world and India. There have been studies done that shows a difference in the number of children wanted per household according to where they live. Families that live in rural areas wanted to have more kids than families in urban areas. A study done in Japan between October 2011 and February 2012 further researched the effect of area of residence on mean desired number of children. Researchers of the study came to the conclusion that the women living in rural areas with larger families were more likely to want more children, compared to women that lived in urban areas in Japan. Usage of the term Merriam-Webster dates the term back to 1947, while the Oxford English Dictionary has a reference to the term from 1925, thus it is relatively new. In its most common usage, the term nuclear family refers to a household consisting of a father, a mother and their children all in one household dwelling. George Murdoch, an observer of families, offered an early description, the family is a social group characterized by common residence, economic cooperation and reproduction. It contains adults of both sexes, at least two of whom maintain a socially approved sexual relationship, and one or more children, own or adopted, of the sexually cohabiting adults. 
Many individuals are part of two nuclear families in their lives, the family of origin in which they are offspring, and the family of procreation in which they are a parent. While the phrase dates approximately from the atomic age, the term nuclear is not used here in the context of nuclear warfare or nuclear power, but instead originates in the same way as nuclear fission, from the noun nucleus, itself originating in the Latin nux, meaning nut i.e. the core of something, thus, the nuclear family refers to all members of the family being part of the same core rather than directly to atomic weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Compared with extended family An extended family group consists of non-nuclear or non-immediate family members considered together with nuclear or immediate family members. When extended family is involved they also influence children's development just as much as the parents would on their own. In an extended family resources are usually shared among those involved adding more of a community aspect to the family unit. This is not just talking about sharing money and physical thing but includes sharing time for example extended family such as grandparents can watch over their grandchildren allowing parents to continue and pursue careers and creating a healthy and supportive environment the children to grow up in and allows the parents to have much less stress. Extended families help keep the kids in the family healthier because of all the resources the kids get now that they have other individuals able to help them and support them as they grow up. Changes to family formation In 2005, information from the United States Census Bureau showed that 70% of children in the U.S. live in two-parent families, with 66% of those living with parents who were married, and 60% living with their biological parents. The information also explained that the figures suggest that the tumultuous shifts in family structure since the late 1960s have leveled off since 1990. When considered separately from couples without children, single parent families, and unmarried couples with children, the United States nuclear families appear to constitute a minority of households, with a rising prevalence of other family arrangements. In 2000, nuclear families with the original biological parents constituted roughly 24.10% of American households, compared with 40.30% in 1970. Roughly two-thirds of all children in the United States will spend at least some time in a single-parent household. According to some sociologists, the nuclear family no longer seems adequate to cover the wide diversity of household arrangements we see today. Edwards 1991, Stacy 1996. A new term has been introduced, postmodern family, intended to describe the great variability in family forms, including single parent families and couples without children. Nuclear family households are now less common compared to household with couples without children, single parent families, and unmarried couples with children. In the UK, the number of nuclear families fell from 39.0% of all households in 1968 to 28.0% in 1992. The decrease accompanied an equivalent increase in the number of single parent households and in the number of adults living alone, according to some sociologists. The nuclear family no longer seems adequate to cover the wide diversity of household arrangements we see today. Edwards 1991, Stacy 1996. A new term has been introduced, postmodern family, intended to describe the great variability in family forms, including single-parent families and couples without children. Professor Wolfgang Hock of Adelaide University, detects traces of the nuclear family in prehistoric Central Europe. A 2005 archaeological dig in Elau in Germany, analyzed by Hock, revealed genetic evidence suggesting that the 13 individuals found in a grave were closely related. Hawk said, by establishing the genetic links between the two adults and two children buried together in one grave, we have established the presence of the classic nuclear family in a prehistoric context in Central Europe. Their unity in death suggests a unity in life. Quote, this paper does not regard the nuclear family as natural or as the only model for human family life. Quote, this does not establish the elemental family to be a universal model or the most ancient institution of human communities. 
For example, polygamous unions are prevalent in ethnographic data and models of household communities have apparently been involving a high degree of complexity from their origins. Quote, in this study evidence suggests that the nuclear family was embedded with an extended family. The remains of three children probably siblings based on DNA evidence were found buried with a woman who was not their mother but may have been an aunt or a stepmother. North American conservatism For social conservatism in the United States and Canada, the idea that the nuclear family is traditional is an important aspect, where family is seen as the primary unit of society. These movements oppose alternative family forms and social institutions that are seen by them to undermine parental authority. The numbers of nuclear families is slowly dwindling in the U.S. as more women pursue higher education, develop professional lives, and delay having children until later in their life. Children and marriage have become less appealing as many women continue to face societal, familial, and or peer pressure to give up their education and successful career to focus on stabilizing the home. As diversity in the United States continues to increase, it is becoming difficult for the classically traditional family unit—a heterosexual couple of the same race and ethnicity with two children—to stay the norm, calling the relevancy of North American conservatism into question. Data from 2014 also suggests that single parents and the likelihood of children living with one is also determined by race. Pew Research Center has found that 54% of African American individuals will be single parents compared to 19% of Caucasian individuals. Several factors account for the differences in family structure, including economic and social class. Differences in education level also change the amount of single parents. In 2014, those with less than a high school education are 46% more likely to be a single parent compared to 12% who have graduated college. Critics of the term, traditional family, point out that in most cultures and at most times, the extended family model has been most common, not the nuclear family, though it has had a longer tradition in England than in other parts of Europe and Asia, which contributed large numbers of immigrants to the Americas. The nuclear family became the most common form in the U.S. in the 1960s and 1970s. <laughs> See also